Hi there. So I'm here. I am in um, Map Info. It's uh, version 17, I think. Um, and we have three polygons. And in a previous vi video, I showed you how to use Arches Pro to uh, get the sort of area calculation. And I'm, I'm just going to do the same with Map Info. I'm going to use two methods actually to get to this data. One is a sort of dynamic temporary approach, and then the other is is more of a um, writing to the table approach. So. When I click on these, um, uh, just hand-drawn polygons, that, that's that's all they are. I have an ID. Uh, note I already have a field called My Area. So, um, uh, and we'll what we'll do is we will go to that um, second. So the first way, we'll go to SQL Select. Um, and in SQL Select, we will select polygons, or some polygons, I call it. And then SQL Select has a um, built-in function you can just call on, which is called Area. Um, very handy. And effectively, that's all you do. But just to draw your attention to some other things down here, note Centroid X and Y, and a few other bits and bobs, all good. But look at ob Object Length for those line objects, Perimeter. So, you know, there's a, f there's a few there uh, that, that uh, very powerful, easy to get to, and you can just go for it. So I'm going to get, pull out the area for each of those polygons, but let's just, if I put the cursor before the word area, let's bring up the ID, make sure there's a comma between those two. And also, just to show you a little trick that uh, you may may not know, is an alias. Because um, it will just say, um, it'll just be like a um, default um, column title if I, if I left it. Uh, but we can call it what we want. We can just like say my SQL calc area. So when I, when I press OK now, we just put it in selection, you'll see how we've got this um, attribute table. So it's ID one to three. I've just had three polygons. And uh, the calc, um, and the column is called my SQL calc area, but it's not part of the structure. It's a temporary column. That's what that is. So it's 1453 and 41. Um, square kilometers I think it was if if in fact we looked at our table structure of some polygons you'll see how um, there was no such field and there still isn't any such field that I typed in you know my SQL calc whatever area um, it doesn't exist but I have added this one called my area so this is where you can do a second way to add that this data and actually write it to the file um, which, you know, if that's the case, may, maybe you want to export it as, as CSV or something. But but anyway, um, so we click on under the table tab, you click on update column, some co some polygons. And we actually want to, there's no temporariness about it. We want to update my area and get value from the same table. That's where it's the same layer um, that I'm getting the values from, i.e. the area calculation. And um, uh, I guess because I've done it before, it's filled that in. But again, you just have the same functions available to you. So I click on area, leave it as is. And now I'm going to press OK. You'll see how that, that field is populated. And, and in fact, I can um, up here, you can say save table. So that would write. So it knows there's changes to some polygons because that information has been written to that column. So some polygons, press save, and that's done. And so that is that. I hope you find that useful. Let's click on info tool. Note how I click and get each one. And I could thematically shade or, or whatever. So, yep, yeah, that's all. Quick video um, showing area. And, and indeed, you can expand on that for object length and uh, perimeter etc and the other functions they're all there in SQL select and um, uh, you can mix and match with um, operators as well of course as well as aggregates so you could sum um, all areas in fact why don't we do that sum, sum the whole thing uh, press ok and that's the total. Um, that's the total area for all those three. There you go. Extra bonus at the end. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.